in today's video. I'm kinda new with apologies. Holding back, I got history. Good morning and welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and come along on this fun journey of ours. I wanted to start off by sharing a before of our kitchen just to give you guys an idea of what it looked like if you are new um, or just a memory jogger for those that are not. Anyway, we have a lot to get done today, so let's go ahead and get moving. Surprise! We got granite. I am so extremely happy with it. I, I struggled over the choice of color. However, this is what we chose, and again, I am extremely happy with it. Everything went great. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start off today's video by getting shiplap put up on the island. Although I had fun nailing in that first piece with the nail gun, I left this project to my husband. There were a lot of cuts with the saw that I'm just not comfortable with and it's his saw so he knows how to use it. So I left this project for him and I just kind of guided him to what or how I wanted it to look. Being on a cement slab, our floor is very uneven, especially, I mean, it's an old cement slab house. Um, our house was built in the 80s, so the floor is uh, not very even, and so we were kind of having some discussion on how or what to do to go about fixing that um, issue. There's a lot of measuring, a lot of cutting going on, so, but we did get it fixed, and I absolutely love Love, love how the entire island turned out. These boards are the shiplap pieces from Lowe's. I do see people being cost effective and using light sheets of plywood and just cutting them down and I think that is a great idea, uh, especially if you're doing a much larger area. This area was so small I felt like it was just going to be easier just to use the boards, the shiplap boards. So we picked up I think like seven of the boards and they fit perfectly for the back and the side of our little island here. Um, 
I definitely think it's a great way to just spruce up the area on a small budget. Unfortunately, I did lose the footage of him doing the side portion. However, it's a very similar process uh, on a much smaller scale. But anyway, this was done over a, the entire week uh, on various days, so you guys will notice outfit changes. Um, but it was definitely time consuming. This kitchen, this whole kitchen project has been extremely time consuming. And I am so happy and excited that we are finally going to have it done. Hopefully here in the next week or two, you know, it is technically usable now, which is so nice. Not having to do like microwave meals or eating out. I'm just I'm so tired of eating out, you guys. So I'm super excited that we do have full access to counters, full access to stove and everything like that. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this faucet installed. This is a Moen faucet. I'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys. It is the exact same one we had in our old house, and I absolutely love it. It is, it is a bit pricey um, because it is the touchless one. You just kind of wave your hand, and it turns on. But I love it. It goes perfectly with this huge, huge sink that we installed. Inside my head And I will taste every note Feel so good when you're in my head So I've been stuck forever It seems like forever I'm ready to fire the signal Pick me up, pick me up And say, come on I do need to give a huge shout out to my hubby in this entire video today. He, you will see him a lot and he is not a fan of being filmed so I greatly, greatly appreciate him for letting me <laughs> film while he's working. So just a huge shout out. Also just a huge shout out to him for going to work every day all week long. He drives an hour, hour and a half to work, to and from work and still coming home and helping me with projects and then helping me with projects on the weekends as well he he just he's great so guys so <laughs> anyway i just wanted to give him a little bit of a shout out so yeah you're the flare you're the song inside my head and i will taste every note feel so good Again, I just absolutely love this faucet. You just kind of wave your hand and it turns on as you see there. Uh, you can also turn it on manually on and off. It comes apart and stretches and you can turn a sprayer on. I just love it. And again, I, uh, I love the sink too. This is a Kohler sink. I forget, I think it's like 30, a three, 33 inch sink. Um, we picked it up at Lowe's as well. Actually, the cabinet guys installed this. Um, I didn't think they were going to, but it was in the kitchen when they installed the countertops. Did I say cabinet? Because I definitely meant countertops. But anyway, I absolutely love it. I will try to remember to link everything down below for you guys. So we picked up these under cabinet lights on Amazon. They're actually really cool. They just they just charge super easy, um, and then they have a remote, so you can turn them on and off like with dim and everything. Uh, it looks like it does have a timer of some sort. I'll have to read the instructions on that. But they just peel off and stick 
up above. As you can see, Fred went ahead and already installed the one here. And we opted to go to the front of the cabinet as opposed to the back. I think that just looked better, so. And then he got this one as well underneath. And you can't even see it other than you can see it reflecting on there, but I think it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and get the rest of them installed. And then we will show you what it looks like at night too. From when we demoed the tile the, or the old backsplash, there was a few holes in the wall, so I wanted to go ahead and get them patched up before we do our own new backsplash. So I just used a couple of patches. I've seen this done in a variety of ways. You can definitely, you know, get some drywall, cut out the spot, and put a new piece of drywall in there. Uh, however, this is the easiest way I know how to do it and just getting a patch at the hardware store and putting some, I can't even, oh, I just lost the name of the pink stuff, but anyway, <laughs> uh, and just putting some of that over it to seal it all in. And then once that is dry, which this is why I like the pink stuff, because once the pink dries, it turns white. So you know it is completely dry. It did take quite a while for this to dry, so I didn't end up getting any tiling done. I didn't tile until the next day. But once it dries, then you can go ahead and sand it down a little bit to smooth it out, and then continue on with whatever you need to get done, whether it's painting or, in our case, tiling. While that speckling dries, I'm going to go ahead and get a paint of coat on this island. Now, most often I would definitely recommend painting these shiplap pieces before you hang them uh, because it is extremely hard to get into the cracks and crevices of the shiplap. However, I didn't do that um, because I'm painting it white anyway. I, I definitely though, you guys, I wanted to paint it black. I don't know why, but the black paint is calling my name. Um, you'll definitely want to come back to one of our next videos because I do pull out the black paint. But anyway, little a little uh, hint, secret, surprise if you will. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this painted up while the spackling is drying. And just... You know, just get it a fresh white coat uh, to cover up any of the dirt and grime from the warehouse, from the truck when we purchased it, and just getting it put up on this island.
looking back on this, you guys, I I'm so sad. I definitely ruined this shirt and my shorts, actually. Um, I highly recommend wearing pink clothes, old clothes that you don't mind uh, ruining. I do as I say, not as I do, you guys. I ruined my shirt when I went to put the lid back on the paint. It splattered everywhere. All over me, all over the floor, which the floor's not a big deal. I just cleaned it up with some water and paper towels, but it definitely ruined my shirt, and that was not a very old shirt. I think that was like the second time I wore it. The stars under the stars. Alrighty guys, today is the day. We're getting down and ready to do the backsplash. I am so excited. I am absolutely loving how the kitchen is coming along with the countertops and the sink and the faucet. It, it's just coming along and I am so excited. So next up is the backsplash. Um, we picked up these tiles at Lowe's. I will try to leave them linked down below. I'm terrible at that and I feel really bad, but I'll try to remember, okay? So if you're interested or want to know which ones they are and I don't leave it that link down below, leave a comment and let me know, like, hello, you're slipping, okay? Uh, so anyway, they are actually a pretty good size. I think they're like 5 by 14, I think, um, tiles. They do sell them singly. They're just over $3 a tile. However, you can still buy them in a box. They come 25 to a box. So they are a boutique brand um, tiles. They're just regular porcelain tiles. I'm going to go ahead and get them grouted up. Or not grouted what is it? Mortar? Mortar, I think. On We're going to get them up, and then um, the grout I'm doing is Avalanche, which is also sold at Lowe's. Um, it's white. It's not like stark white. It's like a creamy white, but I just want to keep everything light and bright as much as possible. So anyway, let's go ahead, get you guys flipped back around, and get started on this backsplash. Driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars We can sleep under the stars Under the stars We can do what we like, like Things were really going great until they weren't. Um, you know, I was just rocking and rolling uh, until I got to this side of the kitchen and started going down on the counter and or uh, down along the counter on this wall. And I noticed that our countertops are not not level, so that was fun. I went ahead and switched to the other side, and then I started having issues. Uh, you're about to see some real raw moments here. Alrighty guys, so I'm feeling frustrated. <laughs> I One, if you're wondering why I haven't cut pieces and I'm just trying to like move stuff around, it's because the uh, lovely saw that we bought, pieces are missing. So I need to take it back. Uh, I didn't know that until after I'd already started. <laughs> Should have probably did that first, but you know, you live and you learn. So anyway, <sighs> I don't know that I like the tile. I'm feeling extremely frustrated right now. Thinking, I don't know if it's too much white. The white doesn't exactly match the cupboards which is fine like it doesn't have to I'm okay with like mixing white tones together um but I'm just feeling frustrated because maybe it's too much white I don't know my dad told me to maybe do like a gray backsplash because there's some gray in the granite and quite honestly 
I don't know. Don't tell him this, but maybe he was right. Maybe we should have picked a color out of the granite and did the backsplash with it. I don't know. I'm really upset, though, because I really wanted to do, like, a shape. Like, I would like to have done, like, a herringbone or a hexagon or octagon or some, some sort of shape, but I was afraid that it was going to be too much with the granite. And when I was in Lowe's looking at the tile, I took pieces over to the big sample granite of our granite that they have at in store and to be honest like I just I didn't like it but I'm feeling like maybe here at the house I would have liked it and maybe I should have bought the pieces and you guys I'm second guessing myself and I don't know what to do so let me turn you around I'll show you what I already have up so this is what I already have up I just have some pieces across you guys this is my first rodeo so don't judge okay <laughs> um i am not a professional by any means at all i i'm just learning i've watched a lot of what is that called like a youtube professional where you learn everything on youtube <laughs> anyway guys i'm i'm new so don't judge but anyway i'm trying to put everything in um i got all this up it doesn't look so bad on the camera but in person, I don't know that I love it. Also, this counter slopes down. So that's awesome. So there's like a quarter inch gap between this tile and like these tiles, like between the counter and that. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, it's a pretty big gap. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so that's fun. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I mean, obviously make the tile level. But then like, I don't know. I am just, just completely frustrated at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna step away. I got everything kind of cleaned up. Um, I think I'm just gonna step away for a moment and think about what I'm doing <laughs> and maybe come back to it. I do need to go get more mortar. I need to get, um, I need to take this saw back and get a different one. Uh, when all the pieces are there. So if you're somebody that does that, you're so rude. <laughs> Just a second. Um, anyway. Alrighty guys, so I took a nice long break and waited until the next day. I got the saw situation taken care of. Uh, however, the saw sucks. <laughs> uh, not to put it bluntly, but it does. It, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it was a mess. But, uh, you know what? I honestly think it was probably user error. And you professionals out there, don't watch this. Because <laughs> I know, I know. I'm new, this is the first time I've ever done it, it's a learning curve, forgive me, but also my husband didn't have any issues with the saw, so it was just me, I really think it was just user error, but anyway, I'm getting back into it, and I actually ended up getting overwhelmed this day as well, because like I said, I was just struggling with the saw, I was completely soaked. I broke a few different tiles, uh, yeah, so needless to say, I, you know, keep it real here on this channel as much as I can, <laughs> and your girl was struggling, struggling hard, definitely overwhelmed, this project didn't go near, near the way I thought it was going to, so. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get a few more tiles placed on this, move out the stove and everything. I'm really trying. I'm trying to work through it, but you guys, I had to call my husband.
I'll be honest to uh, at this point I was contemplating just tearing it all down I uh, I was really struggling liking this tile um, I don't know if it was the big subway tiles because they were they are good size um, I think they're like 5 by 14 uh, size tiles 14 inch tiles um, or if it was the white up against the white cabinet and I was really feeling a little overwhelmed with that um, I don't know I don't know what it was but I really didn't like it I couldn't envision the end product and yeah I I was struggling uh, but I just kept going <laughs> even at my question or my husband questioned my insanity um, he he's like well, why did you keep going if you didn't like it you know but uh, we had already put so many up and like I said earlier these tiles were a little over three dollars a piece and that money adds up so we're already on a tight budget for our kitchen the way it is, hence why we are doing it ourselves. <sighs> yeah, it was a struggle, but you guys, I will say that I actually do love it. Uh, we do not get grout on it. I just ran out of time for this video, but don't worry. The grout is coming, um, but yeah, I do. I do end up loving how it turned out. Like I said, guys, he is so amazing. <laughs> uh, he knocks it out, gets it all done. Not only does he come in and step in and do this for me, but again, he hates being filmed and he let me film him. Uh, shout out to the real MVP of this project, you guys. But anyway, I'm just going to give you a before shot here real quick and then we will move on to the new one. Look how good it looks, you guys. It is really coming along. I am so excited. It has really made the space look so much bigger than it is. Um, now that it is all light and bright, I just love it and I am so excited for the next video for you guys because it's coming along even farther so definitely make sure you are subscribed go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up it helps me more than you know and we will see you in the next one bye guys Before we make this evil